Russia's space agency successfully launches its lunar lander into orbit in a race to touch down on the south pole of the moon. But India had a head start when it launched its own mission last month. There's a lot of um, competition, I guess, to see who can get back to the moon um, first. Japan obviously had a failed attempt earlier this year. Israel had a failed attempt um, a couple of years ago with their Beresheet lander. So really, it's kind of um, you know up in the air as to who's going to get there first and who's going to be successful, Russia or India. Russia's mission was originally a joint project with the European Space Agency, but the agency broke ties with Moscow after it began its military mission in Ukraine last February. Since then, Russia has been collaborating with China, which is expanding its space ambitions. Now the competition between China and the United States in lunar exploration is more visible. But you need to understand that studying the moon is not the goal. The goal is political competition between two superpowers and a number of other countries who also want to claim the title of space superpower. It's Russia, India, Japan. No spacecraft has successfully landed on the south pole of the moon, known for its rocky terrain. But it's an area of interest because ice water is present there. Scientists say it could support a human settlement. The main task is simply to land on the moon, to learn, to recover lost Soviet expertise, and to learn how the new generation of developers can perform this task. Russia was the first country to send a man into space in 1961 and prides in its Soviet-era space legacy. Landing on the South Pole of the Moon would restore Russia's position at the forefront of space exploration. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.